Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Virtual College Fair for all Virginia students. Sponsored by the Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Counselors and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us this afternoon slash evening. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. And your cameras and microphones are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening. Be sure to check out the full schedule, strivescan.com slash Virginia. And this presentation is being recorded. It will be available within about a week at the same website, strivescan.com slash Virginia. We are in session B1. The schedule is here where I'm highlighting with my pretend laser pointer on the left side of the screen. So that's the order of our presentations this evening. So I've gotten all the administrative stuff out of the way, so I will step out of the way and turn it over to our first institution to present, the University of Missouri. Hi everyone, welcome. So glad you could join us here this evening. My name is Jordan Moore. I am with the University of Missouri or most commonly referred to as Mizzou. Um, that's what you'll hear people call us. Uh, here at the university, we do have a little over 30,000 students currently on campus. Uh, we do host Tigers from every county in Missouri all 50 states in the US and more than 120 countries. So we do have students coming from all over the world uh, to visit us and stay with us here in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, that is where we are located. Uh, we do call it Como for short. And if you're not familiar with the state of Missouri, uh, Columbia is smack dab in the middle. We're about an hour and a half from both St. Louis and Kansas City or on either side of us. And those are our two largest cities in Missouri. So it's not too far away if you want to go to a larger city. But we are a college town. Um, a little under 117,000 people living in Columbia, plus our 30,000 college students. We are one of the top 25 cities to live in. Tons of restaurants, lots of music festivals that we host, um, live music venues, uh, lots of outdoors activities. So if you're big into hiking, biking, uh, swimming, anything like that in the outdoors, we definitely have that here in Columbia. We uh, do offer over 300 degree programs that are housed in 13 different schools and colleges on our campus. So we have a lot of different types of majors to offer you. Some of our larger programs here are gonna be our True Last College of Business, our School of Health Professions, uh, our School of Nursing, School of Agriculture, uh, as well as our School of Journalism. We are home to the world's first and oldest School of Journalism, consistently ranked one of the top in the world. So if you're interested in journalism, this is definitely a place for you. We are also one of six universities to house a medical school, law school, and veterinary school all on one campus. So we do have a lot going on, uh, but you do not have to know what you want to major in in order to attend Mizzou. We are happy to take students that are undecided and have them as part of our Discover program where they can uh, learn about all the different majors and kind of figure it out what they want to do once they get on campus. What you'll hear here, what we refer to as the Missouri method, which essentially means uh, learning by doing. We want our students to be out there and active in their field of study, whether that's through internships or practicums or clinical rotations or extracurricular activities. Uh, we want you to be out there and be active. We want you to graduate with not only a resume from, or not only a degree from Mizzou, but also a resume, a professional working resume. So uh, one of our best examples of that is going to be our NBC news station. We are the only university to own and operate an NBC news station. It's broadcast in um, all of mid-Missouri 365 days a year. It's run completely by our students and faculty within our journalism school. So that is one of the ways that we utilize the Missouri method here on campus. We think our students are being very successful here on our campus as well. This year, we boasted our highest retention rate of 90%, uh, something we're very proud of as a university of our size to be able to uh, have that high of a retention rate. We also have a 92.7% successful career outcomes rate, which means students are obtaining a job, joining the military, or going on to graduate school within six months of graduation from Mizzou, which we think is another very successful um, statistic. 
Fun fact for you all, we are the originators of homecoming. Uh, we did host the first ever homecoming on our campus back in the early 1900s. So if you enjoy celebrating homecoming on your campus, you'll definitely enjoy it here at Mizzou. We have lots of fun events. Um, we also host the largest collegiate blood drive. It is a whole month celebration. So the whole month of October is our homecoming or spirit month. And that all culminates in our homecoming football game. We are members of the SEC. So uh, one of the best, if not the best, uh, college um, conferences. And so we really enjoy our sports here on campus. Uh, we do have 20 different NCAA sports here on campus. Um, football and basketball obviously are big ones as well. How to apply to the university. So we know that this year is kind of a weird year for everybody. Um, so we do have two different application processes. Uh, we have our traditional application process with transcripts, test scores, um, and an application. And then we also did enact a test optional policy for this year. So for my students applying with a test score or without, we will have an application submitted online. So whether that's our university specific application or the common app, that's up to you. We will be requesting official high school transcripts from either um, application process. And if you're applying a test score, we will need a test score sent directly from College Board or ACT. For my students applying test optional, instead of that uh, test score that we need, we will be requiring a personal statement and a resume. And then we will be reviewing uh, our test optional students holistically for that. We do have a number of automatic awards, um, scholarship, merit-based scholarships for our students. That's whether you're applying with a test score or without, we will have a lot of scholarships available for you. My favorite uh, process that we offer on our campus is our residency program. Missouri is the easiest state to gain residency in, so we allow our students to come live on campus in a dorm their freshman year, establish residency by completing these five steps on the screen, and then you will become a Missouri resident and you will be able to pay in-state tuition for the remainder of your time on campus. So that'll save you about $17,000 a year and it is a phenomenal program that's only found in the state of Missouri. Uh, like I said, my name is Jordan Moore. I'm a regional admissions representative, always here to help. Uh, my email is really easy, askjordan at missouri.edu. Thank you all for joining me tonight, and go Tigers. Jordan, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And I want to remind everyone, if you have a question for any of our representatives this evening, please uh, put that into the Q&A use the Q&A button to ask that question. And if it's for a specific school, make sure you name the school in your uh, question so that they know it's for them. Up next, let's hear from the representative from Barton College. Hello everyone, my name is Addison Meinhart and I am one of the assistant directors of admissions here at Barton College in Wilson, North Carolina. So I know that we may have a lot of Virginia students attending this session today. So we are located in Wilson, North Carolina. So just a few of our quick facts for those that are not familiar. Wilson is located about 45 minutes east of Raleigh, which is North Carolina's state capital. Our mascot is Blue the Bulldog. Our average class size is around 16, so we are a smaller school with about 1,100 students um, for our total enrollment. Our student to faculty ratio is around 11 to 1, so you're really going to get those small class sizes here at Barton College. And we're really proud to offer over 50 majors, minors, and concentrations, even for a smaller school. Feel free to take a screenshot. This is a um, just a quick overview of all of our undergraduate academic programs. We do have four of our top majors that I have highlighted today, which include business administration, elementary education, exercise science, and nursing, with nursing being our top major and most popular major here on campus. Athletics here at Barton College, we have over 23 NCAA Division II sports here at Barton with our newest sport being football. We are a member of the Southeast region of the Carolina, or the Conference Carolinas, excuse me. Um, and we, like I said, we have over 23 NCAA Division II teams, which means that we are able to offer um, athletic scholarships as well. 
something that makes Barton College really unique is that we are able to offer co-curricular programs. So these are programs that aside from your academic curriculum and your extracurriculars and your athletics um, experience at Barton College, these co-curricular programs are really going to help enrich your Barton experience. So they're going to add more to um, your experience here at Barton. So if you are interested um, in art, for example, we have a program called Artworks that really focuses on the business side um, of the art industry and, and really prepares you to be a working artist. Um, and we have lots to choose from, from Avid to our new esports. Um, we have a state of the art esports arena, all the way down to Nursing Scholars, which is a guaranteed accepted um, or a guaranteed acceptance nursing track um, that we offer. Um, so these programs, like I said, are really going to help enrich your Barton experience and something really unique that we're able to offer. And I think the best part of these programs is that they, um, most of these have a scholarship attached to them. So you can get to, you know, do what you love, explore your passions um, and earn a scholarship as well. Like I said, one of the, um, the programs that we, that we offer is Nursing Scholars. Um, for example, it's an early acceptance program. Um, you must be an incoming freshman, so unfortunately this isn't available for transfers yet. Um, but as long as you are an incoming freshman, um, you complete your application to Barton, you have at least a 3.5 GPA or higher. And this program, actually, we did receive an update that um, they will be test optional for this upcoming year. Um, so just as long as you have a 3.5 GPA or higher, um, you were able to submit the essay for the nursing scholars and um, they would review your application for that. Um, but this is a phenomenal track and just one of the many co-curricular programs that we offer here at Barton College. So diving into our admissions process, I know you guys um, are starting this process if you are a senior this year, um, and it can be a little overwhelming to think about everything that is going on, um, but rest assured that we have made it easy for you. And to be honest, Barton College's application has always been really easy for our students to complete. Um, you can complete our application on our website at barton.edu slash apply. That's barton.edu slash apply. And we are on the common application as well, so you are able to send everything through the common application if that's the, the platform that you prefer. All we need to complete your application is your official high school transcript and your official test scores. We are test optional for this upcoming year, so if you do not have SAT or ACT scores um, or you have not had the chance to take um, the SAT or ACT, you are able to send in letters of recommendation in lieu of your test scores. Um, and did I mention that our application is free? So it's really low risk to apply to Barton, so uh, we just need your transcript script, test scores, letters of recommendation, and then that free application as well. So for those that want to take a quick screenshot, this is the QR code link to our application directly, um, and it will take you straight there, and it only takes about 15 minutes to complete. So diving into financial aid and scholarships, Spartan is really committed to um, affordability and we really want to make sure that your college experience is affordable. Um, so we do offer merit-based scholarships here at Barton, which range from five to $14,000. Um, and so we look at your unweighted GPA as well as your test scores. Um, if you're doing test optional, then it'll just be your, um, your unweighted GPA. But like I said, those range from five to $14,000 and it is a tiered system. In addition to those, um, our financial aid office as well as um, the Office of Admissions will be on the lookout for endowed scholarships, which are gifts to us from our donors that we're able to give back to our students. So be sure to complete your application in its entirety so that we can do a comprehensive review um, to see if we do have any endowed scholarships available for you. We do have lots of visit opportunities for those that would like to make the drive down to North Carolina to Wilson. We do have on-campus tours um, as well as open houses with our open house coming up on October 17th, as well as virtual tour and virtual open house opportunities. Thank you all so much. Like I said, my name is Addison and I look forward to receiving your application soon. Addison, thank you very much. And I want to remind everyone that you can ask questions using the Q&A button it, uh, on your screen. And again, name a, the specific school if you, your question is for a specific institution. Let's continue now with Old Dominion University. 
Good afternoon or good evening, everyone. My name is Tashana Davis from Old Dominion University. I am an admissions counselor and a proud alum of ODU. ODU is located in Norfolk, Virginia, and we are a top national research institution. So just some quick facts about ODU. We have about 25,000 students in total, mid-sized campus. Typically, we bring in about 3,200 freshmen per year. Um, we also offer master's and doctoral programs and also distance learning. So if students want to take classes at further universities or further um, campuses, we have campuses available in tri-cities like the Peninsula, things of that sort where you all can take classes. We also have seven academic colleges, including the Honors College. So if you're interested in Honors College, you're more than welcome to apply for that. Typically, they begin to accept students with about a 3.6 GPA or higher. Um, we also have 33, which is the CHEV faculty award members here at ODU. CHEV represents the State Council for Higher Education. It is the highest award, the best of the best. Um, can you hear me? Okay, sorry about that, guys. I caught, cut out for a second. It's the best of the best award that you can receive as a professor in the state of Virginia, and th ODU has 33. We also have a 70 to 1 student faculty ratio, so still small classroom size um, with an average class size of about 24 students. And then we have 98 undergraduate graduate bachelor degree programs. Some of those programs include uh, nursing, of course, our school of nursing. We also have a college of engineering. We have business programs that students can choose from, including like business management, real estate, things of that sort. Um, in our College of Sciences, we have Marine Biology, Physics. We also have a College of Education here. Um, actually, a quick fact for that, ODU produces the uh, most teachers in the state of Virginia. We're super excited about that really great education program. And of course, things like music, if you want to pursue that, or dance, theater, all those opportunities are available here at Old Dominion. ODU is known for the diversity. We have about 130 nationalities represented on campus. We have about 300 student organizations. Some of those organizations will range uh, just based on your major. So you may see our elite nursing club, gospel choir, things of that sort, um, our marine biology club. You may see our criminal justice reform club, you know, or clubs based on your interests. So in our student hall, you may see the anime club. You may see them all out there watching anime, a gaming club, skateboarding club, things of that sort based on your interests, along with 30 fraternities and sororities, including multicultural. We have 14 housing options at ODU. Typically, it's uh, either apartment style or suite style. Suite style is two people in one room, a bathroom in the middle, two people on the opposite side. Or apartment style is one or two people in one room along with a bathroom. So no community bathrooms. Along with 17 housing, excuse me, 17 dining locations as well from your large brands like Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, all that good stuff, along with your all-you-care-to-eat buffets that you all can choose from. So let's get down to the freshman application. There's two ways you can apply. You can apply through the ODU app or the Common app, it's up to you. We require students to submit a $50 application fee or if you have a college board fee waiver or a, college, or a fee waiver from your uh, high school counselor, we will accept that as well. Um, students are required to submit their official high school transcript. And then again, we are test optional. Um, so students, if you have not taken the SAT or ACT, you can apply as a test optional student this year. Um, or if you have taken the SAT or ACT your junior year, you're more than welcome to still self-report those scores. And if you choose to enroll, of course, we'll need the official copy for enrollment purposes. Two deadlines to keep in mind, December 1st, which is early action, and also February 1st, which is regular decision. At ODU, we do offer merit-based scholarships. So typically for in-state students, we offer up to $6,000 for merit-based uh, scholarship. And also uh, students are more than welcome to apply for FAFSA. There's different types of university scholarships, department scholarships, and doubt scholarships, along with your course federal grant and loans that you may be applicable for based on your FAFSA information. So again, here is our contact information on this page. If you all have any questions for us, feel free to use this contact information, um, admissions at odu.edu, and thank you so much for your time. Again, I'm Tashana Davis, and welcome.
Sasana, thank you very much. And I will leave that up for, on the screen here for a second as I remind everyone that uh, you can also ask questions using the Q&A button. For specific schools, make sure you name the school in your question, or you can ask a question of all of our representatives. I will highlight our schedule here. We just heard from Old Dominion University. So at, up next in this session is St. Andrews University. Whoops. Good evening, folks. Bear with me just a second. Let me get this, this screen sharing up. Doesn't look like it's going to come up this evening. Ah. I just had it a little while ago. Let's see if I can find it. I can't. So let's just chit chat with you guys this afternoon. Well, before you get started, we, we do see your screen. You just have the Zoom uh, screen is what you selected uh, instead of uh, your presentation. So I don't know if you've got the presentation on another window you can click to there or. I do. I do. Yep. It has disappeared from me and that's okay. We can make this work. There is, whoops, you don't want to see my grandchildren this evening. <laughs> too many Zooms today, folks. Too many Zooms this afternoon. I took, I went ahead and shared the schedule again. And Sounds then I'll good. stop sharing. So now it's just you on the screen. Perfect. Good afternoon or good evening, folks. My name is Debbie Bell. I am the Director of Regional Admissions here at St. Andrews University, which St. Andrews University, for those that do not know, we're located in Laurenburg, North Carolina. Laurenburg is in the southeastern region of North Carolina. We're about 30 miles uh, west of Interstate 95. We are located about two hours north of Myrtle Beach. For those that, that are interested in the coast, we're located about two hours east of Charlotte and two hours southeast of Raleigh. So we're a good location in North Carolina. For those of you that are traveling north and south on 95, you can jump up and, and come visit with us. Our campus has about 500 acres. We have 200 acres on our main campus. We are separated on our main campus by a 75 acre lake. Anybody like to fish? Come on to St. Andrews. We'll, we'll grant you a fishing license with your tuition. About three miles from campus is a 300 acre equestrian facility. Yes, I said equestrian. We own about 100 horses and I will get into our equestrian facility in, in a little bit. I'll touch base on that in a little bit. We have a 14 to one student faculty ratio, which means in some classes we may have two or three students. In other classes, there may be a large class and maybe up to 12 to 15 students but we do have one-on-one -on -one with professors. We have a one-on-one -on -one career services that works with students to get them through the, the, um, the interview process for those jobs. It gets you through the resume writing when you're a senior that helps you get those internships that you so, so most of you so desperately want your freshman, sophomore, junior year. So along with that, we do offer 22 majors and 22 minors. We are a liberal arts based university, but we have a strong focus on the sciences. Some of our new majors are nursing. Our RN to BSN program is one of our new majors, as well as occupational therapy assisting. Um, some other new things we have added are esports and gaming. For those of you that are interested in athletics, we are a part of NAIA with 27 varsity athletic teams, which means we do give athletic scholarships. Yes, yeah, some of our new teams are women's wrestling. Also, uh, beach volleyball is fun. Being located as close to Myrtle Beach and the North Carolina beaches, we gotta offer that beach volleyball. Some other things I wanna point out this afternoon is we do offer an equestrian program. We have five competing teams. We own about 110 horses at any given time. 300 acres of riding. We do offer Western riding. That is a nationally competing team. 
Hunt Seat Riding is a nationally competing team, as well as our dressage team. It is also a nationally competing team. You, as I mentioned, we do own our own horses, but yes, students can bring their horse if they are so inclined. Another thing I would like to mention is our application process. Right now, we are um, test optional, as you've heard from some of the other institutions. We are also application free. We do not charge for you to apply to St. Andrews. We accept our own application, which is online at www.sa.edu. And we also accept the Common App, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. When you go to our website, use those QR codes. All of you are tech savvy. Get that telephone out, scan those codes. We want you to apply. We want you to visit St. Andrews. Yes, we're doing virtual visits as well as in-person visits. And we want you to look at our scholarship options. St. Andrews gave out over $10 million in scholarships last year. Our student body is right at 1,000 students. So you guys do the math. We have financial, financial base, need-based scholarships. File that FAFSA. It is October 1st now, so go ahead, file that FAFSA. We also give academic scholarships, athletic scholarships that are based, of course, on, on your playing ability and between you and our athletic coaches. We give extracurricular scholarships. Do you act in a play? Do you sing in the choir? Maybe you ride. Maybe you're one of those equestrians. Yes, we give equestrian scholarships as well. Please make sure that you are applying, that you're visiting, and we'd love to see your face at St. Andrews, and it's always a great day to be a knight. Thank you and have a good evening, everyone. Look forward to receiving that scholarship. Debbie, thank you very much. Appreciate it, hearing all about St. Andrews University. Again, if you have questions for any of our representatives, use the Q&A button that you can see on your screen. Up next, let's hear from WVU Potomac State. University. Hello, everyone. I'm just starting to get this started. My name is Cassie Weiss, and I am an admissions counsel with WVU Potomac State College. Um, so I would love to lead you guys back to the place where you belong, right down those country roads to West Virginia. So this is a little bit about us. So we are part of WVU, as our name suggests. So on our campus, you're gonna get a little bit of the best of both worlds. So you're gonna get a big time university curriculum, just like you would in Morgantown or Beckley, but you're gonna get it delivered on a really small campus. So we do um, have about 1300 students on our campus. Um, so we are fairly small. Um, we do have really small classes as well, but they're very challenging. Um, and they're taught by our dedicated professors. They're always dedicated to your success. Uh, we do have a 20 to 1 student to faculty ratio. We are also considered one of the most affordable four-year institutions in the entire United States. Um, we do offer 11 championship athletic teams and they compete on the junior college level, so the NJCAA. Um, we do have a vibrant residual, residential campus, so we do have a variety of options for you to live on campus, but we are located in a really rural small town um, in Kaiser, West Virginia, which is pointed out right here on the map. Uh, so we are just a short drive from major cities like Washington, D.C., Pittsburgh, and Baltimore. Um, we have dispersed over $600,000 in scholarships per year, and we, it is free to apply to Potomac State College, and no test scores are required. We were test optional before test optional was cool, so no test scores required to get in um, on our campus. So there are a variety of ways that you can forge your future and a future that you can be proud of on our campus. So we do offer over 60 different majors and we offer them in a variety of ways. So we have two year degrees, which are applied science degrees. So you can graduate and go jump right into your career. We have two year transfer degrees. You can easily move between our campuses to Morgantown or Beckley after two years here, or you can choose to go to another university as well of your choosing. We do offer two year online degrees that are new this year. Um, we have them that you can op, um, take those classes right from the comfort of your own home. And we offer online degrees in business administration and general studies. And then we do offer six different four year degree programs. So you can actually earn a bachelor's degree right here on our campus as well. Um, and then we have those in sustainable agriculture, entrepreneurship, business administration, 
criminal justice, uh, we have a nursing BSN program, which is the WVU program. We have computer information systems and the region's bachelor's of arts. And we all know that college can be challenging at times. So when those challenges come up, we always have the help here to, uh, to help you get through those tough times. So everything you, that you need is gonna be able to be found in that Marriott Shipper Library. So we have professional librarians there that are able to help you locate um, any information that you're looking for. Do you have access to all of the WVU online search databases? So you have access to over 400,000 books and all kinds of different news articles and scientific papers. You're gonna be able to find those whenever you need to and you can access them anywhere at any time. Um, the Mary F. Shiver Library is also the home to our Academic Success Center where we offer free peer and professional tutoring to all of our students. So we do have professional tutors in the subjects of English, math, and science available to all of our students. Um, one of the big traits for us is that we are a really affordable college. As you can see, um, for out-of-state students, um, your tuition is $11,544. Uh, you do see that we offer a metro rate as well. For our Virginia students, that specifically applies to Frederick County and Winchester City students. And then our room and board all together runs around $8,500 per year. So your out-of-state total is right around $20,000. And if you're in the metro category, you're just under $16,000. And then, of course, to go along with that affordability, we do have a variety of financial aid options. And there is no separate scholarship application necessary for any of our scholarships. So this process mirrors uh, WVU Morgantown's and we have, as you can see on this chart, expanded tiers so that we're able to offer those opportunities to anyone to get a WVU degree. New starting for 2021-22, we're going to be offering Go First scholarships. So those scholarships are going to be um, based on strictly your GPA, no test score required. We do also offer academic scholarships, scholarships of distinction using our test scores as well, but starting next year, we'll also have some that you won't need test scores for. And you can always reach out to our financial aid counselors at csc-finaid at mail.wu.edu if you have any questions. They did mention the FAFSA is open now that it's past October 1st. We do use the same code for all three WVU campuses. And if you do have those test scores, our codes are also listed on the bottom of this page. So housing and residential life. So we do have a variety of options for students to live on our campus. We have five different residence halls and we have a couple of different options as far as uh, the style of living. So suite style living where you have two students in one room and connected to another room with two students in it by a restroom in between. So those are available in University Place and Catamount Place. We do offer single rooms in Reynolds Hall, Catamount and, and um, then we also offer traditional style living in Friend Hall, Memorial Hall, and Catamount Place as well. Um, and those, of course, are with community restrooms. Um, some of the amenities of our residence halls include laundry facilities. They all have student lounges. They all have computer and Wi-Fi access. They all have cable television. There's fitness rooms, and there's air conditioning in all of them as well. Um, and then University Place specifically also houses our dining facilities in, it, in the, the bottom floor as well. Um, so, of course, we all know that college is not just about going out there and going to class. It's also about joining a community. So there's a ton of ways for you to make it your own on our campus. Uh, as I stated earlier, we do offer 11 different intercollegiate athletic teams. We do have over 30 um, student organizations and clubs. We do have a student rec center um, with weights, cardio equipment, um, a gym, a yoga studio. And we do also have intramural sports that range anywhere from cornhole all the way up to flag, um, to flag football. Um, so if you do want to learn more about us, we do have a lot of virtual options where you connect, can connect with us at any of these websites. And if you like what you see, like I said, there is no application fee. Please make sure you go out and apply for WVU Potomac State College at go.wvu.edu slash PSC apply. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at any of these uh, emails or phone numbers, and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you. Have a great day. Cassie, thank you very much. And want to remind everyone uh, one last time to ask any questions using the Q&A button that's on your screen. Next up, we will hear from the representative from Bridgewater College. Hi, everyone. Give me one second. Can you everyone see my PowerPoint? Yes. Yes. All right. Perfect. 
Uh, my name is Tori Hudson. I am one of the new admissions counselors here at Bridgewater. I am a recent 2020 grad, so I just graduated in May with my degree in environmental science, but I'm going to be here to kind of give you a little bit of an entire edition of Bridgewater. Um, I like to say we're kind of in that perfect location. We're two hours south of Washington, D.C., two hours away from Blacksburg, so where Virginia Tech is located, an hour and a half away from Charlottesville, so where UVA is located, and about 20 minutes down the road from James Madison University, so that big college. Um, I also can say from experience, you can have that big college feel of JMU, that social life, but you can have a small town education over here at Bridgewater. Um, on this screen, um, it kind of just goes through our student body. So right now we're sitting at about 1,600 students. We have aspirations for about 2,000 but we're always going to stay a small four-year private liberal arts college. Um, you can also see how our gender diversity and residency states um, break down. A big part of the school is also our student athletes. We have over 30% of our student body be student athletes on campus. Moving right along, um, we are a liberal arts school, so you would be getting a liberal arts education. And how we break that down is into four divisions. Within those four divisions, we have 31 majors and 15 minors. On this screen, these are our top five majors here at Bridgewater. These are our most popular, um, and that's what students typically come here for. We also have four graduate programs, and we have plans on growing up to 10. Um, the bottom three are all four-year undergrad programs and a one-year master's program. The athletic training um, is a four-year and a two-year program, so you'd have your undergrad degree in four years and your master's in two. Um, one of my favorite things about Bridgewater just being a student was a small class size. We do have a ratio of 13 to 1. Um, we're all teacher or all professor led. There's no grad assistants, TAs, none of that. Um, our average class size is about 19. In perspective from a recent student, my smallest class size my freshman year was 12. My largest was 27. So um, I think that's kind of the perfect area to get one-on-one -on -one education but still have enough people in the class um, to have good discussions. So one thing about a small college, you kind of want it to be growing. And this is one of our um, ways to kind of show that. Um, this building, the John Kinney for Learning Commons was just renovated in um, March of 2020. It just opened, it was a $13.2 million renovation. And um, in here you'll find different resources. It's more than just a library. Um, you'll find our career services, our student resources, including our tutoring and um, peer co coaching and our writing center. Um, those are great places to go if you ever need help on this campus. It also has Smitty's Cafe, which is our on-campus Starbucks. Um, so that's just one of three dining options that we have. Um, my favorite thing about this place is that it's wide open. It's inviting for you to come and study. There's glass um, windows kind of all over, so it's really natural light um, driven. So outside of academics, what are you going to do? This kind of just highlights our campus experience. So we are NCAA Division III. Um, we have 23 men's and women's sports teams. We're part of the ODAC, so the Old Dominion Athletic Conference, which is a pretty competitive conference for this area. Um, on top of that, we also have an equestrian program, a cheerleading team, and a dance team that are not ODAC, um, NCAA regulated sports, but they're clubs and they're treated just like sports here. Um, a couple of little highlights, we have a golf team, we have a swimming team, we have both men's and women's lacrosse. Um, we, have, we are a football school and we did just win the ODAC championship, so that was a big proud accomplishment for us Eagles. Um, and then kind of moving away from sports, if that's not something that interests you, we also have 60 clubs and organizations, so honor societies, um, volunteer base, um, random other sports clubs like wrestling, rugby, ultimate frisbee, and if we, if we don't have it, you can create it. It's definitely doable. Um, all what you need is a, a person to sign off on it. We also have over 30 intramural sports teams. So to kind of highlight a little bit about financial aid, we offer kind of three types, institutional, state, and federal. 99 to 100% of our students receive some sort of aid. You can see kind of in this lower bar graph how 75% of our students receive more than 30,000 in aid. They start at 21,000 and go all the way up to full tuition. For that, we are gonna look just at your GPA. We are test optional. Um, so it's really up to you. You can send us your SAT or ACT scores, but in general, our application is free and just going to need your official high school transcript. Um, for our Virginia residents, you will receive the Virginia Tuition Assistance Grant for attending a private college. 
If anyone's from out of state here, you would also receive a $3,500 grant just from the state, uh, or just from Bridgewater to kind of match what we uh, out of, or in state students get. Lastly, with our application, we do have a Bridgewater um, specific app, or you can put us on the Common app. We're not going to judge you any differently. Um, again, we are test optional. So, really, we're just going to look at your GPA. There's truly no reason for you to apply. It's not going to affect your financial aid. Financial aid still is going to be based off your GPA. We have a rolling admissions. So, if you apply within the next couple of weeks, you'll have your decision in about three weeks. Um, for some reason, if you decide to wait, we do have an early action deadline of November 15th this year. Um, so that is non-binding. If you get your application submitted and the FAFSA completed, by December 1st, you'll have your admission decision and full financial aid package before the holidays. So you'll know a good uh, cost of what it attends to Bridgewater. And again, on here, we just need your high school transcript. If you want to send us your ICT or ACT scores, you can self-report. Um, again, my contact information is on there. My name is Tori. Um, you can either email me or call me and I'll do my best to respond. Thank you. Tori, thank you very much. We have a couple uh, minutes here left for all of the reps. If uh, they want to turn back on the video, I'm going to ask kind of a general question that we get a lot of times in sessions that you can each kind of round robin to respond to. And it's just more of a fun question, but also one that's important to prospective students. And what's your uh, favorite tradition for your school, the favorite campus or school tradition? And um, I'll just let each of you take turns answering in whatever order you'd like. So I'll go ahead and start off. Um, my favorite tradition, again, I was just a recent student. Um, we have a victory bell on campus and that bell rings three times. So when you're an incoming first year student, when you're graduating senior, and then any time um, one of our athletic sports team wins, again, we were ODAC champions, so it was a really big thing um, for all of our participants, um, players, coaches to come up and ring up, stay outside the bell, and then the bell would go off, and just really a campus um, moment there. So here at Barton College, I think one of my favorite um, traditions that we have. Um, it's called exam breakfast. And so um, to kick off the exam season, um, right before those get started, um, we actually serve breakfast in our culinary center at like 10 o'clock at night. And we invite all of the faculty and staff to serve breakfast to our students. Um, we give away prizes, do, do bingo. It's super fun. Um, it's just a really good way for us to connect um, to the campus community. Here at ODU, we are Division I. We have 18 Division I sports team. And so one of my favorite traditions um, is going to the games or just seeing everyone going to the games. You see their hair painted blue and silver, their faces painted blue and silver. Sometimes their stomach is painted blue and silver. And we have this cheer, it's called the ice cream and cake. And so sometimes prospective students always say, can you do the ice cream and cake? So it's like ice cream and cake and cake. And it's just really live and fun. Um, and it gets everyone's energy excited about, you know, the upcoming games that we have. Well, you saw it on my beginning slide, oh, sorry, Debbie. You saw it on my beginning slide for my presentation, the lyrics to Country Roads. So uh, we are part of WVU and, one of, and I'm a WVU Morgantown grad as well. So one of my favorite traditions is even on our campus and um, outside in the West Virginia campuses, um, is singing country roads after a big win. It, I mean, you, it, you can't beat anything when you have all of your thousands of closest friends singing arm in arm and singing that song together. Um, it's one of the greatest things to ever experience. So that's really fun. One of our big, big traditions at Andrew University is that we're located in Scotland County, North Carolina. So at the beginning of each year, we always have a bagpiper walk our freshman class across the lake. It kind of brings tears to your, to your eyes. They go one way to the last, and the year they graduate, he will escort them back across the other side. And I'll just end it and say homecoming, since we are the inventors of homecoming, it is our favorite tradition. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you, everyone. And I want to thank everyone for uh, participating and, of course, and for everyone who attended this session. Thank you very much.
When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted. Be sure to sign up for additional sessions, strivescan.com slash Virginia. And at the same website in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings. Again, thank you to each of our presenters this evening and thank you for attending. Have a good rest of your evening and afternoon.